Jay flew out from Oklahoma to spend the day with Nicole's classes yesterday and then my classes today. We are wrapping up a unit on sound and how sound travels through um, a medium and Jay is blind and uses echolocation to navigate the world. One of the teaching strategies that we use is instead of you know going through the textbook, lesson one, lesson two, we present the kids with a phenomena um, or something puzzling and interesting that they can't quite explain yet. And if you look around the room, like we'll usually start with what we noticed about the phenomena, what we wondered, to really try and get them thinking like scientists, making observations. Jay, for the last seven years, has done a Zoom call with the district. And the way it started, and Nicole can tell you this story too, but it actually occurred to one of my students, and it was my student's idea to actually engage with the phenomena and ask an expert, almost like a primary source, and ask that person to come in or to talk to us and help answer our questions that we have. It's been phenomenal. I mean, really, truly, I cannot say enough good things. The kids come in primed, first of all. They have a remarkable grasp of acoustical physics for people their age. Even most college students wouldn't have ascertained as much about acoustical physics or human perception as these kids have been exposed to in seventh grade. They ask questions that are insightful, questions that are sincere. They have never asked anything that's wildly inappropriate or anything like that. The kids are really excited. They have a lot of questions for Jay, and Jay's been very transparent about asking him anything. So a lot of the kids want to know how being blind affected him as a 12-year-old and how other people in society treated him or how they treat him today. So I grew up fully sighted. I went blind in seventh grade, as a matter of fact. And then when I was 19, I had to have my eyes removed due to all the damage on the insides of the eyes. and. Then here we are now, 10 years later, where I've gone all over the world, I have three degrees, I speak five languages, blah, blah, blah. At first I was thinking, oh great, through Jay we're going to learn more about the physics of sound, but then once Jay shares his story with students, you realize the um, emotional connections to sound, the personal connections to sound, and how they affect all of us and how they actually help some of us too, even more than others of us. So it actually helps students understand people in our society and people in our world and how they use sound to live their lives and how to enhance their lives. It's not intentional. I don't stand here and make some kind of a speech, rah, rah. But every time they end up walking out with that kind of a thought percolating in the back of their heads about this person went through what might have been terrible things but it didn't actually negatively affect them, and in many ways positively affected them, because they harnessed these abilities and this knowledge for better. And it's, it's great to see them come to those conclusions on their own.